We just picked up a new 7mm 08 REM. It is a hunting tier 5 rifle, so I do believe we're going to have a little easier time with the mule deers now at least. Let's head out and see what this gun is about. All the way up there, we do have some whitetails. About 230 meters out. Wait, that was a young one. Oh, damn. So that one is uh, hopefully to grow up at some point. See if we can uh, get a little closer. Maybe there is a big daddy deer up there somewhere. Uh, doesn't look to be a big guy, but there is definitely a guy right there. Oh, that one's probably a little bigger. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's got to be the one that we're going to be going for. That one right there. Can't really see it. Maybe if we use our scope, we'll be able to get a little better look at what's actually going on here. Yeah, it's definitely going to be that guy, right? That one there isn't too bad either, though. I want to go for that one there. I think they're about 150 out. Better check the range again just to make sure. 120. I should be able to go with this then. Zero. A little low. <laughs> Definitely did hit him. Last spot we saw him. Let's go. That's a lot of blood. Medium amount. Slow and there is air bubbles as well. So I'm pretty sure we actually ended up getting some long shot then. Let's go. Just have to uh, track him down. This up here should be around the last spot where we saw him. So maybe. If we activate our Honda senses. Oh, got blood over there I think. Yeah. Let's go for this. Is this blood? Yes, sir. And he is actually down right here. This might be our first white tail buck that we get to see then. Oh, we did indeed get lung and liver, it seems. Ended up getting a single long shot. It doesn't say everything, but it does say what we hit first, it looks like. Um, how much did we lose to... We didn't lose a lot to the uh, shot, so definitely using the uh, 7mm08 over the 243 is going to be the way to go for us from now on. Maybe we just retire the 243 now. Why does it say that it's the 243 caliber, though? I'm not sure. I'm 100% sure we used the right gun because it says above. That might be a bug. Let's continue shooting some more. We do have another whitetail out there. It doesn't look to be anything special. I do want to try to take a little longer shot on him this time though. See if we can get close to that almost 200 mark. I have actually upgraded my scope so I do have quite a lot more zoom to this thing now. Oh, that is definitely a good hit. Yeah, he did not like that. He did not like that. Let's keep him spotted. Okay, over to there. Last spot we see him. Could actually take one of these just for the fun. Ah, they're running off there. Let's go and uh, pick... Oh, no! I hit my X key. That was bad. Anyway, we had the uh, marker down up here, and let's see how this one did. Do have some blood from him right here. Uh, oh, <laughs> he's actually down right up in this bush here. I do want to try and uh, go back and see if it is actually the right gun we're using. Because it's giving us the... Uh, it is the Styre Pro Hunter, actually. Okay, well then it's fine. I just thought a 7mm08 was something different then. Apparently I am just stupid. And that's another one just straight to the bank. And once again we're going to be struggling a little with the wind here. But we did just test the uh, Staya Pro out on a uh, little longer distance. So I'm not too afraid of having to take a shot from this 
range. I just need to make sure how many males we have over there. It does look like we just have those two tiny ones, and they're both calm currently. I don't really see anything else interesting in the... Oh, where did that come from? Was that there the entire time? It probably was. Uh, but with that, I don't see a whole lot... Oh, damn, that's a badger's. Damn, damn scooting badgers. Don't really uh, need those. We just need to shoot a few more of these to get some more money. We're out on about 170 meters. They're making a call right there. Can get down to a uh, crowd's position. Zero for the 150. Should be a super simple shot to make this one. Oh, can you like not do that, please? There we go. Thank you. It's definitely hit. Oh, he's up there. He's up there. He's up. Oh, I kind of want to take the other one as well. If we get the chance. I don't think I should shoot at that uh, jumpy boy stuff. Oh, we might actually have a chance over here. I wonder how far they're going to run out before they stop running. Out there. How far is that out? It's about three out. 300. Oh, that was a good shot, I think. I definitely see blood down there. Gonna leave that mark there. Go and see if we can find the other one. And uh, maybe we even got a double up here. That would be super cool. Actually get some money out of this. Let's take a look at the first one then. We did indeed take him down on 162 meters. And we didn't lose a whole lot. It wasn't a very big guy though. So we did not get a whole lot of money out of it. But every little bit counts right now. Look at the genetics of this guy though. Completely bollocks. Do not need him running around anymore. Get that money and see if we can go out and uh, find the other one that we shot at. I think we uh, our marker should be placed somewhat in the area of where that hit. Standing around with your Hana senses on almost makes you feel drunk after a little while. So, uh, just, I, I don't know. It Standing around like this, I think it's the, the blur on the edge that keeps messing with my head. And he is actually down up here. We just have a nosy pheasant as well. Let's take this one. Oh, I really need to get rid of that uh, idea that I need to be looking up in the sky. 278 meters, the longest shot that we've done so far. He did take a little longer to bleed out, I think. But another 364 money right in the bank. What is there to say about this Dire Pro then? Honestly... I think they have messed up something right here, because whenever you shoot an animal, it does say that uh, when you're using this Staya Pro, that um, you shot it with a 243. I'm pretty sure it's supposed to be a 7mm08. It also does not seem to be any bit more powerful than the first rifle we unlocked. So quite honestly, this rifle right here seems to be a little bit of a waste of money. There is two variations of the 7mm08, and we're gonna try the other one in another video.